What's up guys, it's Garcia here and yes, in front of me is the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is the latest flagship phone from Samsung and it packs with a lot of new features including the beautiful Full HD Super AMOLED display, 1.9GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor and the latest TouchWiz UI. I'm so excited to see the device but before we unbox it, a big thanks to our friends at Moby City for sending out the device. I have their link in the description box below so please check them out, they have a huge range of unlocked smartphones. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the Samsung Galaxy S4. Looking at the box, it seems like Samsung is going to the recyclable side with this packaging, which I quite like. One thing you will notice as well is that they've stopped using the Roman numerals on the S4, as you can see at the front. On the back of the box, you'll find some description about the device, and I know you don't want to see that, so let's take a look inside the box. The first thing you'll find when you remove the lid is the phone itself, and you will notice straight away is that it is very slick and thin device. Underneath the phone, you'll find all the literature, you have the quick start guide in there, handbooks and just a few information about the TVC and how to sync the phone. You will also find a USB wall charger, micro USB cable for charging and syncing, earphones with extra earbuds, wall charger adapter and the bigger 26mAh battery. Before we take a closer look at the device, let's put the battery on first and power up the device. Looking at the design, it has some similarities to the S3 and the Note 2. And what really stands out on the phone is the aluminum finish around the device as well as its thinner profile. To give you an idea about its size, here is the S4 on the left and the HTC One on the right. At the front, from the left you will find the LED notification light, earpiece, gesture and proximity sensors, and the 2 megapixel front facing camera next to that. Looking below that are your capacitive buttons as well as the good old home button. On the back is a 13 megapixel camera with an LED flash, the Samsung logo and a speaker. On the left hand side of the phone is a power and lock button and on the other side is a volume rocker. On top of the phone is a 3.5mm audio jack, microphone and the IR blaster which lets you use the device as a remote control. The micro USB port is also located on the bottom of the device along with another microphone. The Galaxy S4 has plenty of power for your everyday needs. Inside is a quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor by Qualcomm with Adreno 320 GPU and 2GB of RAM. Now connectivity-wise, it has dual-band Wi-Fi antenna and will also work with AC-enabled routers. It is also 4G LTE capable and it features the latest Bluetooth 4.0. As I've mentioned earlier, the 5-inch Full HD display has got to be one of its features and all I can tell you right now is that it looks amazing, that the contrast and black levels of it are great, which is what you would expect from the AMOLED display. The Galaxy S4 is running the latest Android 4.2.2 Jellybean with Samsung's very own TouchWiz UI which is jam-packed with plenty of new gestures and more customizable options. So there you have it guys, that is the unboxing and a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S4. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel a lot. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out any of my videos. I'm Jens Garcia and I'll see you all in the next one.